sometimes all it takes to make it in this world, whether you want to admit it or not, whether you want to see it or not, is to just get is to just start. Hi, I'm Jimmy Hendrick, and this episode is called Just Start on Empower Your Pattern 2.0. Hi, I'm Jimmy Hendrick, founder of James Hendrick Empowerment. I believe that there are patterns that help you receive more to live a better and extraordinary life. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I'm a success, confidence, and thrive coach. So if you come along with me, I'll show you these patterns. Let's go. You know, I have to be honest with you. This is something I've been struggling with, and, and, you know, this is some positive, raw content coming your way. How are, by the way, guys, how are you guys today? It's, it's a lovely Saturday morning in West Texas, and that I'm reporting to you guys. It's, as far as I know, it's 70 degrees outside. Lovely, (laughs) lovely spring day. Summer's coming, and so, the morning would be the best time for me to really get out (laughs) but anyway I digress this past week has been really hard almost like I guess like a game changer for me I had noticed that I was feeling more socially isolated than ever And, you know, I was turning to friends, and I realized that, you know, they could only do so much for me. But I I learned this principle, believe it or not, through faithful, earnest prayer. And so, I want you guys to get ready, because it's something simple, but yet so profound. Okay, now, early one morning, I believe it was Thursday morning, I was, I was sitting there crying out to God, basically, you know, boo-hooing, complaining about, you know, my lot in life, how I was tired of social isolation and nothing changing. And for some reason, I felt like Heavenly Father was giving me revelation on the spot. Right there and there. He said, Jimmy, how many years have you been saying you wanted to, 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 to do all this? But yet you've done nothing. You came up with excuses. Well, I don't have the money. I don't, I don't have the connections. He said, just start. It doesn't matter how how you do it, just start. Just start. I want to thank you some I want I wanted to tell you a few a couple of quotes. One's from Jim Rohn. If you aren't willing to risk for the extraordinary then what you get is the ordinary. And start with what you have, with who you are. Okay, those those really those really help in many ways. Because t- to be honest with you, this is a lesson I've had to learn the hard way. Thirty years ago, I was hanging a lot around a lot with my friends. Uh, Brad and and Jim Bob. You know, Keith sometimes. But Jim Bob used to tell me, Jimmy, I know you have these grand wild dreams, but sometimes you got to start with what you have. And my immature pea brain side of me was like, no, I don't hear that. (laughs) I don't hear that. Well, I would like to take, 52-year-old Jimmy would like to take twenty take 22-year-old Jimmy and say, Hey, you need to wake up, buddy, because that's how it is. That's how it is. You've got to start with what you have. 
And so, to that extent, I am going to be, at some point, raising a cap capital through crowdfunding to expand uh, James Hendrick and uh, James Hendrick Empowerment in order to do some webinars, some online courses, c coaching sessions. You just have a general outreach reach. And at the same time, learn what needs to be learned about marketing, to some degree about SEO, and search engine optimization. T to be honest with you, that it, it, SEO sounds kind of intimidating, but the hosting site for, for my company uh, through WordPress um, has some tools that kind of make it a little bit easier. They're a wonderful outfit. I, I really have to say that. Now, Tony Robbins said this. He said, the best steps to success is massive action. And that's true. That's true. I've had some times this week, more often than not, when I've been knocked off, knocked, knocked off my sa saddle. And some people may say, well, Jimmy, it's easier for you, it's easier for you to just want to be hurt. Yeah. It can, it can be easier to, to want to be hurt. And want revenge if someone slaps you. But then again, the, the, the best way is have my father's way, where you just start. And keep in mind something that Les Brown said. I'll tell you something. I saw this quote the other day, and he says, the best revenge is massive success. And please don't understand me. I'm not, I'm not revenge uh, motivated. Maybe in my, uh, maybe in my twenties, on the turn I was thirty-one, I kind of was. Um, I'm really as a um, as a success, confidence, and thrive coach. I've been having to do a lot of inner work to really find out where some of that, some of that anger, and some of that sadness deep in me is coming from. And really, some of them can be topics in and of themselves. Uh, uh, abandonment issues. I've dealt with uh, abandonment issues. Now, not necessarily from my mother. My, my mother has always been there for me. And the right man who raised me, my daddy, he was a powerful force in my life. But it was issues with my uh, my uh, my birth father, S some trauma that was involved. Now, be that as it may, I, I don't hate him. I don't have any ill feels for him, Ill, Ill feelings for him, because in my fifties, really, I started discovering this in my thirties. That may not have been totally his fault. I have been told through some connections that my father has some um, uh, illnesses and, and, and demons and challenges of his own. That's no doubt. I've gotten to know him over the past 22 years since since uh, he reconciled. And, and really, I love him, but he's a hard man to know. He's a hard man to know. Um, he he doesn't say much, but what he says he means. You know, that's just that's just being honest. And I think a lot of what was going on when I was younger, he was kind of impul impulsive. Maybe showing off his his father's skills. Maybe he maybe he was trying to make a man out of me. But he was doing he was going about it the wrong way. The point of the matter is I lean more on my Heavenly Father 
to deal with those issues. And, so, and he's told me to lean on him more about about the abandonment issues because he has he has been my been my father. I also have I also have father figures in the church. John, I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Really and truthfully, you've spurred me big time to be held accountable about my health goals. I really appreciate that. Dave, you've spurred me to make some quick decisions to make some changes. Needless to say, next week I plan on contacting Toastmasters to see if they can find me some uh, professional speaking clubs where I can visit and, you know, when I raise the capital for my business, uh, be able to join one or two of those clubs. Because, you see, here's the, here's the thing. Here's the beauty of this. The Lord tells us sometimes to just get started. Just get started. How hard is that? But I don't have the money. So, you know, I've done research. Some, some businesses have started on a shoestring budget, if not little, or nothing. Okay. Well, I don't have the connections. That's where you just get started and the connections come. I'm going to give you a quote. I'm going to close out with a quote from Dr. Delatoro McNeil II. He said this, When the why is strong enough, the what does not matter, and the how shows up. And that's why you just start. You just start. Seriously, that's all you got to do. If you want to launch that coaching practice, just start. If if you want uh, uh, if you want to be that speaker or, or author or or trainer or or lawyer or whatever, just start. Start where you are, and and just really rocket yourself to success. There's no reason why you can't succeed. Now, I hope you enjoy listening to Empower Your Pattern 2.0. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the citizenry of Pattern Realm. This is Jimi Hendrix saying until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others want. And do what others want so you can have what others can. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. You guys take care. I'll talk to you soon. God bless you.